When I decided to walk home with her, I knew she had something hidden. Usually when someone asks you something, there's a motive behind that question. <laughs> hey guys, Kadiri Ghost here, and welcome back to Fruits of the Literature Club. So, lunch period has arrived, and I do my book exchange as normal. Once I close my locker, I hear another grunt from the opposite side. Probably Sayori. I peer around the corner, and sure enough, there she was. She looks like she's struggling with her lock again. Before confronting her, I watch her carefully. She's definitely trying the way to disarm the lock that I showed her yesterday. So that's good, I guess. I watch her carefully to see if she succeeds. Click. The lock releases and she opens her locker with a happy smile. I turn around and return to my locker, but before I could really do anything, I hear, Thank you, Koo. She saw me? Damn. She must have good peripheral vision. Yeah. No problem. I call out for my locker. I close the silver-colored door and turn around to notice that Sayori is right behind me. Jesus! <laughs> ha! Hi! Didn't your parents ever tell you not to sneak up on people like that? You didn't notice me walk right past you? Evidently not. Some secret agent, man. Come on. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry. Not like you intentionally attempted to scare me. If you did, then I would have to fight you. <laughs> what? <laughs> ha, I'm just joking with you. Th that isn't funny. Where I come from, that type of humor is just the tip of the iceberg. Hmm. Anyway, what did you want? Well, I was gonna ask if you thought about the literature club thingy I asked you yesterday. This again? Pretty sure yesterday I told you no. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Anyway, I guess I will talk to, your, talk to you later. Leaving so soon? Huh? Don't give me those puppy dog eyes and run away at, at a simple rejection. In life, you gotta face a lot of it. Don't just run away from them. Plus, I saw you eating lunch alone yesterday. You did? Yeah, need someone to eat with today? N no, you're probably just gonna be a meanie again. I'm not being mean, I'm just telling you the truth. The truth is not always easy to hear. Still. Okay, I will join your literature club, Sayori. Got him. R really No. <laughs> you're so mean. If you try- <laughs> Oh, that word. I don't know. Might get demonetized. Okay, around the truth, it hurts more. <clears throat> Better than I denied your invitation. Better than, better I denied your invitation now than to lie to you later. I don't like this. Listen, how about we go eat now? If you don't ask me to join the literature club again, I won't be a meanie. I make quotes with my fingers. Other than that, we should be fine. Okay. She's gonna ask again. Sayori and I make our way to the lunchroom. It is a gym-sized, multi-purpose room that has been littered with several rows of wooden tables. Definitely enough to fit the number of students eating lunch in here. We get our food and sit down. Okay, thank you for skipping. <laughs> Sayori and I begin to talk about each other. And by each other, I mean her. So tell me about yourself, Ku. There isn't much to tell. Well, there has to be something. Why did you come here? To go to school. I went to another school far away and decided I needed a different and new start. Oh, why is that? Just felt like it. <clears throat> Just felt like it is a saying we used at my old school for don't ask about it, you don't need to know. What about you? Why are you here? Well, started to go uh, to school here when I came with my family. That was 12 years ago. Whoa. And you're how old? I'm 18. Ah, so you're pretty much, so you pretty much spent all of your life here. Yep. Interesting. So what do you do for fun, Sayori? Oh, uh, lots of things. I like to draw, I like to read, I like to run around and play, and I like to play with animals. So overall, you're pretty random. <laughs> yeah. Well then. <clears throat> what about you? Huh? What do you like to do? Read. Read? That's it? And he won't join the literature club. What the heck, man? Well, I exercise a lot, but I don't really consider that a hobby of mine. I need to maintain a level of fitness at all times. Huh? Why? Just feel like it. Okay. Anyway, we're done with lunch. Let's go back to the lockers. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing. Um, <clears throat> I apologize. <clears throat> we good? <laughs> we good. Okay, I closed my locker, the rest of the class's books in my bag. Thank you for eating lunch with me, Koo. No problem. Oh, um, huh. Would you like to walk home with me after school today? Me? Why? Because. We also live right next to each other, so it just works out. I walk alone. I walk a lonely road. <laughs> oh, come on. Ah, uh, fine. Yay! But there is one thing. A catch, I knew it. When I decided to walk home with her, I knew she had something hidden. 
Usually when someone asks you something, there is a motive behind that question. <laughs> I don't seem surprised to Sayori. Uh, what is it? You have to come to my, my literature club. What? I told you no. But you said you would walk home with me. And I walk home after the literature club. I can very easily change my answer to a profound no. <laughs> but I promised the other men members that I would introduce you today. Don't make promises you can't keep. They, uh, they were all really excited to meet you. One member even said she would bake cupcakes. Uh, how many are you? How many are there in the literature club? No, in general. You females are so good. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> it's quite annoying, really. Please, Ku. <laughs> it would really mean a lot to me if you did. <laughs> I don't really care if it means anything to you. You used a rather sleazy tactic to persuade me to join your club. Wow. Just so mean, man. You don't have to join. Just at least stay and wait for me to finish. You can meet the other girls in the club, too. That way you aren't bored. Ugh. You just don't let up, do you? Fine, I'll wait for you. Yay. Sayori does a little hop while cheering victoriously. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. And the only reason I let a few men order me around is due to seniority over me. Once you're out of that chain, you can no longer control me. Uh, it's one of the reasons I was the top of my class at my old school. Now that I think about it, there was one other woman who could order me. But she is gone now. Oh, whoa, what's this? <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> I'll, see you, uh, I'll see you later today, Koo. Sayori tells me the number of the literature club before trotting off to her next class. Ugh. I shuffle towards my next class. Do 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 Okay. Uh, I arrive at the room number that Sayori gave to me after lunch. Class has been over for about 10 minutes. Sayori told me to show up at a specific time. I check my watch and wait for that time to come. All right, here we go. What? So he comes in exactly on time, dude. Okay, I open the door to the classroom and enter it. It looks like a normal English classroom. I take a quick second to look around the room. But it wasn't long before a blue-eyed monster <laughs> obstructed my vision. I remember this from the from the last time I played it. Uh, Koo, I'm so glad you came. Didn't really have any other choice. Sayori, you didn't say the new member was a boy. <laughs> it didn't seem important at the time. Natsuki, that doesn't seem like something important. If he is a club member, he is a club member. He's not gonna like Sayori, or uh, he's not gonna like Natsuki, okay? <laughs> a tall purple-haired girl arrives at the front of the room with the three of us. Promptly coming to my defense without call. Wait a minute, I overheard these two arguing about manga yesterday. But boys ruin everything. Plus he looks like kind of a jerk too. I walk into the club room for less than 30 seconds, only said five words, and I'm the jerk. I get the urge to open my mouth, but I restrain it. If I'm gonna be here for however long this club does its business for, I better keep tension low. Because believe me, I know how difficult it can be when uh, it can get when you're forced to be around a group of people who don't like you. Natsuki, assuming such a thing right off of bat, right off the bat, is pretty harmful. Yeah, my feelings are really hurt. <laughs> the pink-haired girl uh, named Natsuki presumably looks away while angrily gritting her teeth. The most recent girl with the uh, the one with dark uh, the one with brown hair. Okay, is the last to come to my defense. She has a proud and confident demeanor and stance upon her. She catches my eye for a second. Ugh, whatever, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Granted, there was nothing to really apologize for, but I still accept it out of respect. What do you mean, he, she, she called you uh, a meanie word? Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Monica. Just Monica, a coup. <laughs> I am the president of the literature club. If there's anything I can do to make you more comfortable here with us, just ask. I'll make sure to take you up on that. Monica looks oddly familiar. I shrug the feeling and dismiss it. Dude, okay, watch her be like the uh, the lady that he worked with and she's like undercover or something. I, You watch, you remember that, okay? <clears throat> so Monica, yeah? What type of things do you do here in the literature club? I'm very glad you asked, Koo. We focus on the study and application of many forms of literature. Interesting. Sayori, Sayori's smile perks up. What interests you in literature? Uh, nothing. I am only here for Sayori. Oh. She looks to Sayori, who is squirming in her shoes. I'm, escor I'm escorting her home today, and she insisted I wait for her here. So I'm just a guest. But I do hope you will join. Oh. 
Well, I do. Uh, she's getting deleted tomorrow. <laughs> she's get Monica's like, I'm deleting you later, okay? That's the last straw. <laughs> well, I do certainly hope you join if you are interested. Another member will get us registered as an official club. So if you have under five members, your club isn't really a club? Yeah. Ah, so I was correct to sense a hint of bureaucracy here. How very observant, Koo. I heard you were new, which is why I am surprised you caught on so quickly. Well, whenever I go to a new place, I always like to survey everything so I understand the social norm. Oh, well, I hope you enjoy your, uh, your stay with us today, Koo. We're just about to start. All right. It kind of seems like a literature cult at this point. Uh, Monica's voice was as confident as her statue, as her statue was. Wow, Monica has a statue? Oh my god! Okay, it was oddly entertaining to observe. She definitely caught me off guard for a second there. I didn't expect anyone at this school to possess even a shred of sheer confidence, but I was clearly wrong from how Monica presented herself. Yeah, if you can go delete people every day, I'm sure you'll gain some confidence too. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a dig on Monica. This is, it's just jokes. Come on, man. Take a joke. <laughs> I know there's one guy who's like, Ree, don't say bad things about Monica. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> and the fact that she is the president of a literature club immediately shows me that she is an academic. But something continues to dig at my mind about her. She looks so familiar. Yeah, she's definitely undercover or something. Hey, Natsuki, when are you going to pass out those cupcakes? I am starving for one. Starving. Natsuki. Got him. Okay. Sayori asks while taking a seat. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk uh, over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Excuse me? There was a noise outside. Kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Okay, it's happened before. It's spooky. Okay, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off of the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats, as always. <laughs> uh, the whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were made to use. The you, you get it, okay? So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Haha, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. Sayori uh, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking thanking me? It's not like I uh, made them for you or anything. Oh, well, Sayori said something. Uh, someone was making cupcakes in preparation for my arrival. Well, maybe. But not for y you. You know, you dummy. Okay. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Um, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may might not be a pastime for me, but... I at least enjoy tea. What? Bruh, you said you read. I'm so confused. I am so confused. <laughs> he said he likes to read, and now he doesn't like to read. Make up your mind, man. Okay, I'm glad. Yuri uh, faintly smiles to herself in relief. I take a sip of the tea and immediately recognize what type of brew. It's a strain of oolong tea, not one of my favorites, but better than the gruel that my old school called tea. Oof. Nevertheless, I drink it. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the ep I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed, please smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button to become a ghost. And I will see you next time. Peace.